Welcome back to Versatile Gun Dog. Today I want to do things a little differently. I'm going to introduce you to a wire-haired pointing griffin here in a little bit. His name is Henry and we're basically going to start from scratch. The Being a puppy, he's not had any predisposed conditions in the hunting field. He's not been exposed to gunfire. Just socialize him to the environment that he's going to be operating in. So I'm going to get him out here in a second, clip on a quarter inch check cord. I'm going to wait till he's quiet before I let him out. Okay, he's quiet, so I'm going to go ahead and get Henry out and introduce you to him. Come here, little buddy. Look at this big guy. How can you not love that little face? Oh my goodness. Oh yes. So we're gonna get him going. He's ready to go. Yeah. Hi Henry. Oh, no, no. oh my god. I'm getting attacked. I'm just letting him bounce around, be a goofball. He gets to grab grass, go potty, do all of his little puppy stuff just have fun I am however gonna hang on to the check cord to start because I don't have any reliable commands or any way to control him other than the check cord and this is fine for now and as I develop a relationship with him then I can add in or commands or decrease or eliminate having to hang on to the check cord Henry, good, yeah, yeah, good boy. Now notice I didn't, since I have the check cord, I can enforce that command, the whistle, right here, just by pulling the check cord. Oh, you are a happy boy. You're bouncing full of energy, just like every other puppy, yes. Now you notice that right there? See how he's grabbing the check cord? He's already understood that the check cord is some measure of control. And we're just gonna pop it out of his mouth and get going. Come on, good, come on. And we're just gonna keep giving little pops when he grabs it, just to make it or unpleasant. So we are just gonna move through the field and then add in a little recall. Henry, Henry, good boy. Oh. Yes, yes, good. Shh, quiet. Hey, hey, when he's calm, oh, whoops, come. Yeah, notice he's all feisty and fired up. Well, I'm not gonna release him until he's calm. And that's going to be the, the new norm for him. If he wants to get back out and run around, he's gotta be calm in front of me. Good boy, all right, let's go. You see him grabbing the rope again? What am I gonna do? Just little pops. Yep, remove it. Good boy, let's go, come on. And then get him distracted. We'll have to do this many, many, many times over. Come on, yep, good, good, come on. Come on, Henry. See, he's grabbing the rope again. Just a little pop. Let's go. Distract him. Get him moving again. Atta boy. Yeah, let's go. Come on. And as I gain confidence with him being in the field, I'll drop the check cord. When I know that he's not going to run off. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep him hooked up. Bud. Good. Now Henry's really fairly confident right now and he's moving around fairly well. He's searching, he's engaging cover, trying to use his nose. So there's a lot of good things about him so far. And when you call his name, Henry, Henry, he recalls pretty well. So it's not going to take long for me to drop the check cord. Henry. Henry here. 
good boy. Good, yeah. When he's calm. All right, let's go. After working with Henry for a little bit on the check cord, I realize he's not going to go anywhere. He wants to work off of me. So he's got a high cooperative value. And I'm going to go ahead and let him run free off the check cord. So I'm going to take a little risk and let him engage the cover and search on his own. And periodically, and try to get a Henry. Henry. Now notice I didn't give a command because I can't enforce it. What a good boy. Good boy. Good. Yes. Now we're going to calm. Calm. Good. Yeah. Good boy. All right. Let's go. All right. So I just kicked up a bunny. And he's already smelling it. He smells where it ran through. And right about there is where it ran through. I'm just curious to see if he decides to track it. So he's trying to use his nose and right there is where it was running through. So he's he's trying to sort out this track. I'm actually kind of impressed with that nose. Yep, right there. Lost it. Now he's coming back. Good boy. Yeah. Good. All right, let's go. So happy is a little setter puppy that I have. And I'm going to introduce... <laughs> We're going to get you back a little bit. I'm going to introduce Happy to Henry. So Happy and Henry are going to get out this morning and run together. Great thing about puppies is together... They tend to bolster each other's confidence. Come on, Happy. Let's go, buddy. Go around the pigeon pen. Kind of let pigeons fly flapping around in the pen. It's brought out some curiosity. He's not intimidated, so that's a good sign. Well, he forgot all about the birds, and now he's back into WrestleMania mode. Come on, Henry. Good boy. And happy. Yeah. So a couple more things I'm going to do as I start the, the puppy road to gun dog success is I will add a, an e-collar to their daily routine. It doesn't get turned on. And when they get this put on, they know that they're going to go have some fun. They're going to go into the field. When he's calm then and he submits to the, the collar, that's just another little lesson. Good boy. Good. Good. Shh. Good. Get him calmed down. And then the other thing I'm going to do, especially this early in the game, is I'm going to add a tennis ball. Normally I wouldn't advocate for using tennis balls in retrieving, but with puppies it's not too bad because I can control their, their flow of speed using the check cord. So I'm going to to start the retrieve process, can use that tennis ball for him to search and recover, search and find. Because it has odor, it has a positive presence. And why that's important is, I can use those tennis balls to teach the dog at an early age how to handle wind direction. How to go downwind, search downwind, how to search sidewind, and how to search into the wind appropriately and do it naturally, all in stages. So it, it basically eliminates more hiccups. Now you're going to have some mistakes, you're going to have some hiccups along the way, and how you react to them can either extend or shorten the, the period of training. I am trying to do my best to bridge those gaps in training and make it more simple and less problematic for our little buddy here. I'm just going to roll the tennis ball out Good boy, right here. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That tennis ball. Good boy. We're just going to do short little retrieves, two to three at a time. Good. So today, those couple retrieves, he's wanting to pick the tennis ball up. Oh, that's a good boy. 
Good boy. And that'll be the last one. Right here, buddy. Right here. Good. Good. And I use a check cord to bring him in. Good. Oh, now I've made that ball an important topic. Now, the last thing I'm going to do for the day, as I help him get out of the, the trailer, I'm going to help him get in. So I want him to know that this is a good place to go. So I'm just going to unhook him. Kennel up. Good boy. Good boy. And that's it. So that's about it for his lesson at this point. I'll get him back out later today and expose him to another series of this. Good dog, good, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, puppy loser. Developing kennel. Good boy, that's a good boy. There you go, good boy, good boy. Come here, dude, yeah, good boy. All right. Henry, Henry, good boy, yeah, yeah, you gotta calm down, when you're calm, we'll let you go, yeah, when you're calm, we'll let you go, good, ah. hey, 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 oh, I know, you gotta be calm, and then we can let you go, Good, good boy, good. All right. So today's gonna be Henry's first exposure to birds on the ground and uninhibited. He is going to take the roll naturally and see how he does today. Buddy, 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 buddy. Yeah. Good boy. Now you notice that first one, he wasn't too happy about. Kind of startled him. He's been around a lot of flushing birds as of late, but he's willing to go back and check out the launcher and where the bird came from. More or less get an idea of what just happened. And I'm going to let him really sort out the scenario. He's going to go and sm smell different objects, try to sort what just happened in this brief moment. Good boy. Yeah. Let's go. Two toots to turn. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Picks up the scent cone. Oh, come on. Yeah. I believe he's already picking it up. Good boy, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Good boy. Kennel up. Kennel up. Oh, that's a good boy. Come here. Yes. Cold day today, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna go find a couple birds. Let's go. Right there. You should hit that scent right there. Good. Now that's better. Ooh. 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 Oh, come on. Yeah. 
You're still working on it. Henry here. Good, yes. Yes. Yes, good boy. Good boy. All right, let's go. Ooh. Yeah. What was that? Good boy. Good boy. That was better. As we start off today, I've got Henry back in the field. And lately, I've been running him with Happy to help bolster that confidence that the puppies working together create. This is going to be his first solo exposure to gunfire. He's had plenty of 209 primer shot in presence of Happy, who's not so happy right now because he's screaming in the background, he's not out here with us. So uh, he's grumpy, but that's okay. This is also the first time he's running around exploring the field with just the beeper collar on himself. It's taken a little while for him to get used to it. That beeper oftentimes suppresses a lot of dogs, especially puppies, when they're in their fear period. So as we continue to to explore the field again together. I'm just going to start introducing random gunfire with the 209 and build that confidence up as he's searching around. Then I'll in introduce birds again in conjunction with the gunfire, but I really like to keep gunfire and birds separate so I reduce the risk of having issues with one or the other or both. Let's see if we can get a recall. Henry. <whistles> Pretty good recall. Good boy. Hey, 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 hey. Nice and calm. Good. Good. Ah, 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 ah. Good. 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 All right, let's go. Now I'm not going to take any shots where he's running straight away from me or when he's standing still. It's always going to be under moving conditions where he is running perpendicular, straight on or quartering to. I never allow a shot to go off or try not to until he is truly proofed when the dog is angling away. Like right now, I would not shoot because one, he stopped, Two, he's angling straight away from me. And right there I could shoot if he was moving. Like right there would work. But because he's so close, I don't want to shoot as well. I'd like him to get some range before I activate the 209 primer. Let's go, buddy. So again, I'm waiting for that right time. Like right there looks good. Yeah, a little reaction. Let's go, come on. Don't give him any reason to doubt it. Just keep moving. Come on, buddy. I'll get another one here. Let's go. And a little effect. You saw him drop his tail, but no big deal. He recovered very nicely from it. We'll get another one here in a minute. Look at that body posture. He's got his tail up. He's pretty confident, still searching. So those are good indicators that we can do another repetition. What's that? Is that a car? Really no ill effect. <laughs> You're a goofball. Yeah. It's now just become background noise while he eats snow. Let's go, buddy. But I still don't want to take shots with him running straight away. So I'm going to start off with a tennis ball at first. You can see there's some feathers on it. He knows what it is. We've, we've created a target with the tennis ball. And we know he's going to carry it, bring it back, 
get a couple re successful retrieves. Oops. Oh, right here. There you go. Good boy, right here. Good boy. Yes. Oh, that's a good boy. Ready? Last one. Good boy. Lots of praise. We're doing this on a check cord because I want to make sure that we get the proper behavior. And then I'm going to graduate to a small bumper. Actually, this is a canvas bumper. Oh, yes. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Yeah. It's a little more awkward. It's not the same shape. Uh, he has lost all of his teeth. So now we can go ahead and start doing more retrieving stuff. Ready? Last one. Good. Come on. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. And that's about it. We don't need to do, do too many retrieves, but we can do a handful of things throughout the day. So getting out, do three retrieves and then move on to another topic. Then do three retrieves later in the day with a different object and just keep introducing short bursts of training, of retrieve training, where you know you can absolutely make it happen. Having a check cord, making sure that he knows what his job is. Do your best to not let a dog fail. Buddy, 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 ready? Ready? Oh, where'd it go? You're working it. Atta boy. Keep working it. There you go. Whoops, a little out of the cone. There it is. Good boy, right here. Right here. Yes. All right, let's go. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Dead bird. Dead bird. Good boy. Good boy. Atta boy. Come on. Come on. Come on right here. Right here, Henry. What a good boy. Good. Right here. Right here. Good. Very nice. Good boy, easy, good, 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 ah, ah. good, good. We hit it. Dead bird. Dead bird. Good boy. Dead bird. Dead bird. There it is. Good boy. Right here. Come on. Henry. Good boy. We'll take that. 